It's time for Fit Friday, and our fitness trainer, Jack Silverman, is joining us today. We're talking about staying positive. And, you know, there's a lot happening in the news, the election, mm -hmm. the yes. economy, the <clears> gas <throat> prices, all of that can make people a little bit down. And if they're also trying to lose weight, it gets rough sometimes. It really does, Rachel. And, and what's so great about life is you get to choose every day how you want to live that, that day. Um, you can choose to be positive, or you can choose to be negative, or you can let the day go by, and if something negative happens, it can kind of throw your whole day into that mode. But if you get up every day and actually make a conscious choice that I am going to have a great day today and I'm going to make the best of this day and look at all the things in your life that are going good and focus on those things rather than the bad things, your day is going to be better. It's going to be better even with all that's going on around you. So I think that's important. And it's important to stay positive when you're doing a weight loss and exercise routine. Yes, because you're going to, just like, just like we talked about Rebecca this morning, you're going to run into obstacles. And along the way, if you let those obstacles just beat you up and you want to give up, you're going to set yourself back and probably get out of your, your desire to get your weight off. So again, when you reach those obstacles, take it as a challenge and say, okay, what do I need to do to get through this? How am I going to, I am going to get through this and stay focused and just keep pushing and eventually you will overcome that obstacle and then go a long ways until you reach the next obstacle. All right, and diet and exercise plan, you got to stick with it, right? You really do. You really do. And you're going to have some Ups, ups and, and downs. downs. You're really going to have normal. some ups and downs. Yeah. And it, when you have those downs and you're faced with a situation like, okay, this isn't what I plan to eat, so what do I need to do? I'm in a situation here. Just make the very best choice you can make at that time and don't beat yourself up over it. And then go forward and the next meal that you face, make a better choice. And I assume that's something we need to all do as we head into the holidays, where there's those holiday parties, yes. different foods you don't normally have tempting you, those sort of things. And, and one thing, and I've been encouraging some of my classes right now, because I know the holidays coming, and come Thanksgiving till January 1st. I know, it's the, rough. Oh, gosh, the <laughs> average weight gain is 5 to 8 pounds, Ugh. and it's so scary. So I'm getting people right now to focus on, let's go ahead and really trim down now. Let's do everything we possibly can now, so when we get through these holidays, even if we just maintain through the holidays without making any progress, that would be wonderful. And right now you guys are doing a, kind of a kickboxing Ooh. program, which will really <laughs> melt the pounds away. It really does. You, you don't know how much energy is expended. You know, now I have a better appreciation if you're watching a boxing match oh. or kick, how much effort it takes to really punch with your gloves on and hit something. It really anaerobically will burn up so many calories and you're sweating and drenched and breathing heavy. And so Rebecca's going through that right now. And she's, uh, if you're watching, you stay close because we're going to make this thing happen. <laughs> <laughs> and she is down several pounds, though. I mean, she's oh, yes. down at least 12 pounds now. So yes, yes. That's and impressive. That's, she's really been on track. And I know she's had a couple of obstacles along the way, and she's overcome them. So we're ready for the next one. I'm getting an update from Brian. 14 pounds down. 14, Sorry, Rebecca. Yes. 14 pounds down. And she's lost inches all around her body, too. And that's really, you know, and, the and, stuff that makes a difference, too. And one of the things that's real important, and I know with the times right now and everybody getting hit with all this, ec you know, economy stuff, exercise is so important for you right now because, no number one, it's going to kick off some endorphins for you. It's going to keep you uplifted. You make better decisions. You, you're, you know, you're better at, at everything you do when you're feeling better about yourself. So during this time, don't stop your exercise. Actually, make sure it's in, you, you have it planned in your life so you can... Stay focused and stay happy. And, and that's going to help you be positive. Absolutely. Let's put the information on your screen now for Jack Silverman's Fitness Center on Air Park Drive. You can go to jacksilvermanfitness.com or 899-9501. 899-9501 gets you more information. You can also sign up for a class right there or get some personal training. Go ahead and check them out online. Jack, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Rachel.